right, you guys, we are using the Pastel Journey Tarot. We are here to receive a message for you guys, all right? And remember, I always ask Divine Source Light Creator, Guides of Love and Light only. This is a general reading, not a personal private one. one. So, What can we receive, please? For those who have found this reading, this video, what do they need to hear in this moment? Yes. Okay. I feel another one. Ooh, okay, one more. Yep, thank you. Interesting. All right, so the first card is the Eight of Wands. This is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So <laughs> the Eight of Wands is getting news and messages. Something coming in very fast, sudden, swift, and quick. On fire, like an asteroid, like a comet, and like giving you this information, this message, or news coming in very quick, very fast. So get ready for some kind of information, news, uh, knowledge that you're going to be gaining. Um, and it's going to be about this Queen of Pentacles. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth Energy. This is all about material gain, material wealth, finances, stability, structure. This reminds me of maybe getting some type of news on your stability in life. It doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be material possessions, but that's usually what it is. This is um, really stable energy. It can be motherly, uh, earth energy, a very, very grounded, some type of stability. Maybe it's a home. Maybe it is a promotion in a job or a career or leveling up in your 3D reality. Okay, now we have this five of swords. This is air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So the five of swords is some type of conflict. And it's like in the mentality, the mind, beliefs, thoughts, words, and communication. So this can be winning at all cost, alienating those around you, blocking others out, or not letting others' opinions Um communication, what they say, what their feelings are, kind of steer you in the wrong direction because this is really you being a warrior spirit and focused on your goal, your achievement, and what you want to accomplish, all right? So it could be a, a positive battle for your stability and your roots, um, what you want to stabilize in your reality, uh, what achievement, what goal. Um, it can be a very comfortable life style okay now we have the seven of swords so air aquarius gemini libra energy well the seven of swords can be strategic movement sneakiness hiding kind of manipulative so what i'm getting here is that there could be some type of words communication somebody or the outside world um you receiving this type of news and information that uh, is going to be surrounding your stability, maybe your finances, uh, maybe your daily life, your routine, um, your foundation in life. It could be a job, it could be career, it could be finances. And this is going to kind of like kick you in the gear of kind of like battling for um, your own goal and achievement or like kind of like like putting up a boundary um fighting for your right your stability from this sneaky energy uh from this manipulative um not fully honest energy okay this could be cheating lying stealing um not so honest okay so now let's pull an oracle we're going to use the law of positivism oracle and then like this is also how you're going to strategically move forward all right the mind on how to move forward and uh doing it very carefully right and we are in a mercury retrograde while recording this so that makes sense mercury rules over gemini the third house of communication transportation journeys technology and the mentality so all those things can be confusing misunderstood so what information can we get from the law of positivism for them Oh my goodness, you have a card number one. 
So one is about the sun. That's all about clarity, um, seeing clearly, let's see, enlightenment, which is like ding, 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 light bulb moment, right? One is also how you step into new situations, how you step into the world, how you lead your own life, okay? It's a new beginning, a new seed, and new growth. It says, I go deeper into the root of my physical, physical discomforts. Remember, battling that, trying to protect that possibly, and to learn and heal. So I go deeper into the root of my physical discomforts to learn and heal. Remember, we're talking about the mentality, using strategy on how you're going to move forward, right? Okay, beautiful. So material, this is material. I go deeper into the root of my physical discomforts to learn and heal. And that, that was receiving news and information. This full moon could be significant, the bird or the white rose. A physical manifestation of an imbalance or dis-ease is often due to an experienced trauma or deep-rooted emotional issue that needs healing right now. If you're experiencing a physical discomfort, such as pain, st stiffness, poor sleep, or digestion, or any type of dis-ease, this is a manifestation of an emotional or energetic root source. To physically heal, you must tend to your body's needs and nourish yourself with proper movement, diet, and rest. When you have created a balanced lifestyle without any stress or worry, your physical body will heal. Take the time today to ask your body what it needs and sit with the discomfort. Let it speak to you and guide you. You can also connect deeper to your body and your life story by journaling. Note down when the discomfort or imbalance started and what was going on in your life at that time. The awareness and the listening to the signs and patterns are healing in themselves. Set the intention to connect with your body and its voice. Take a few deep breaths and enter a state of meditative contem contemplation. Contemplation here, okay? Ask your body the following questions and journal as you start hearing the answers. When did this start? Why is this experience essential for me to understand? What can I shift in myself and in my life to create more balance? What do you need and what do I need to release? Repeat this over the coming, upcoming days and weeks and start seeing the patterns and the root causes that need to be resolved. White Rose is purification. The Raven, wisdom and insight. Moon is intuition. Lavender is calmness and silence. That ends on page 33. So that could be significant. We talked about the third house, Mercury energy, okay? And somehow this is connected with the physical body, the physical world, um, tangible. Um, it can be the connection to the physical body. Yes. And so the, th the 33 is a six. Sixth house in astrology is ruled by Virgo. This is Virgo energy too. And it represents the body, health, wellness, your daily routines, your boundaries, your organization. What last tarot message can we get for this? Okay, so what do they need to know? Moving forward. Oh, moving forward. Knight of Swords, more air. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Air rolls over the mind, mentality, thoughts, beliefs, words, and communication. Expression. The knights are the battlers. They're the warriors, okay? And the knight of swords can be a younger male presence or energy. It doesn't have to be male, but um, this is all about the mind. It can be younger in the mentality, uh, younger thought patterns, um, not so balanced in the mind, belief systems, communication. They can be a little bit rash and reckless, but they really do s seek out truth. And balance. The Knight of Swords is intelligent. And so there's room for growth there. They're always seeking information, wisdom, study, and learning. Okay, so there's going to be learning. There's going to be study. This could be the news, this reading right here, this information that you're receiving this, okay? And um, so it's focus on physical body, physical health, daily routines, um, your physical reality, okay? Very interesting. So this was the reading for the time watching this. So just take what resonates, leave whatever may not resonate, use your discernment. And if you're interested in a more personal private reading, you can always reach out to me. Okay. Thank you so much. Abundant love and light. So be it. So it is. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share if you're on my YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next one.